What's up guys, this is Zach here. Welcome back to another video. Now if you guys haven't known, if you guys have seen my last update video, you guys know that I'm going to be spamming this channel with a lot of album reviews. So yeah, I already made the uh, one album review um, recently. Uh, it was Soil Work Stabbing the Drama. You can go check that out if you want to. But for this review, uh, I'm going to be reviewing uh, this really great uh, rock record. Now I know a lot of times I don't really review rock records, I mostly review metal records, but uh, this these guys are one of my favorite bands, so yeah, I gotta, you know, review, you know, their stuff. And yeah, this here is uh, Innocence and Instinct by Red, yes. With that being said, Red is one of my favorite bands. They are probably my favorite rock band at that, um, but yeah. Uh, this is it right here. Uh, definitely a great, great record. This was my favorite Red album when I first got into them. Uh, now it's a tie with uh, End of Silence and of Beauty and Rage. Those are probably my top two. Then probably this record. Um, because this here is still very great. Uh, this is one of the darker Red albums. I'd still say of Beauty and Rage is the darkest Red album. But uh, second to that would be Innocence and Instinct. And uh, Beauty and Rage was kind of like a follow-up to Innocence and Instinct. Because the albums are very similar, atmosphere-wise. They're both very dark. And this here does have a really dark sound. You know, it was much darker than End of Silence was. Uh, you know, and that's a bigger side to this record. Um, yeah. Uh, the first track is Fight Inside. This here is a good track. Starts off kind of slow and melodic, and then it gets heavier. Uh, yeah, and it's got a great chorus, and it's usually a track that I don't skip li when listening to this record. Fight Inside's a great song. It's a really great red song. It's one of the best uh, tracks on this record, in my opinion. Uh track after that death of me this here is the most popular one on here in my opinion probably the most overrated uh because it's like i think fight inside and mystery of you are better than death of me why is death of me the single why can't one of the two tracks that i mentioned be it i don't know it's just my opinion now don't get me wrong death of me is not a bad song at all it's actually good but it's not as good as the other two that i mentioned you know fight inside and mystery of you but death of me it's a really great song. Uh, this one here also starts off kind of slow. It's got a pretty good chorus. The chorus is pretty catchy, you know, and it, it does have a good breakdown in that song, and it's pretty good. Uh, the song after that, Mystery of You, this here is a This is an amazing song. This here is one of my favorites off this record. Um, yeah, Mystery of You is a melodic song. It's slower than the first two tracks on this record but it is awesome it's got a very good chorus the bridge to this song i don't know the bridge to this song is the one thing that sticks out to me anytime i think about the song mystery of you the bridge to this song is usually what i think about it's got a really good bridge um and then you know it kicks right back into the chorus and then like it gets heavier at the end like it has a just epic breakdown at the end uh yeah uh, the song after that, Start Again, eh, this here is probably one of my least favorites. Now, it is a good song. Now, don't get me wrong, I think all the tracks on here are good, but if I would have to choose a le uh, least favorite, it would be uh, Start Again. But that's just my opinion. It's a lot slower than, uh, you know, the first three tracks. I don't know, you just kind of like, it's just, it's just not really that fun to listen to. It's kind of slow, and it's kind of boring. It just makes you want to skip it. However, uh, you get to the next song, which is Never Be The Same, which is just a plain out ballad. And uh, this is actually a bit better than uh, Start Again, in my opinion. I think it's a little bit better. But, you know, it has acoustic guitars in it. If you guys know me, I, I do like acoustic guitars. Um, in songs. I think, you know, it always, they sound great. And with Red, Red knows how to do them right. Uh, yeah, Never Be the Same is more of a love kind of song. Uh, 
So lyrical wise, it's not the best, but it overall is a good song. Uh, the track after that, Confession, What's Inside My Head. This here is another uh, great one. I, I just love the guitar riffs at the beginning of that song. You know, it just, you know, it, it's got a huge buildup and it just gets right into the song. Uh, you know, it's also got a good chorus and then like it has, you know, Mike's vocals screaming at the end. It's really great. That's one thing I love about that song. Uh, the song after that, which is Shadows. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you guys are a fan of the band Breaking Benjamin, you guys would know that uh, the song Shadows was co-written by the lead vocalist of Breaking Benjamin, Benjamin Burnley. And you can definitely tell in the lyrics, it does sound like a Breaking Benjamin song. Like, uh, it's really dark, like a Breaking Benjamin song. And I, I love that track for that reason. Because, you know, if you guys haven't known, Breaking Benjamin was the first modern rock band I've ever gotten into. And then I got into Red. And then when I found out that Ben wrote uh, Shadows, I was like, yo, I can see why. This sounds like a, a Breaking Benjamin song. And it really does with the... Uh, um, with the lyrics, especially the, uh, one lyric, um, there's a hate inside of me, like some kind of monster. I think that's the, uh, one lyric in the chorus. That, that line there sounds like it would be in a Breaking Benjamin song. So, yeah, I definitely believe the fact that Ben wrote that. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, it is a very good song, nevertheless. It, it's very good. It's just, it's, it's heavier than most of the songs on this record. Uh, you know, I love the, um, you know, I love the chorus. Uh, the verses, I feel like, are the things that stick out to me the most. They're definitely great. The song after that, Ordinary World, uh, this here is actually a cover from another song. I don't know which, uh, artist it's from, but Red, uh, did a cover for that song. It's pretty decent. It's, 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 it's kind of like start again like the beginning of start again and ordinary world kind of sound the same so yeah ordinary world is kind of uh one that i skip as well not that it's a bad song but it's you know um still uh pretty good i guess uh the song forever this song here is pretty good the song that i compare this to is probably um confession i feel like that's the one that's closest to it's uh Another good song. My problem with the song Forever, though, it does get kind of repetitive. Uh, and it just seems like it's going through like the same thing over and over. But, you know, it overall is pretty good. And finally, we get to the last track, Take It All Away. This here is another really great song. Uh, it's kind of haunting, like, if you think about it. Like, when I first heard it, I never really liked it, but... Uh, I do think it is a good way to close off the Innocence and Instinct album. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of, like, eerie, like, and it's kind of haunting as well. And then, like, it has a huge buildup before you know it, and it gets heavier, you know, after, you know, uh, the bridge kicks on. Uh, but yeah, that's my review on this. Innocence and Instinct by Red. Uh, it's definitely a great record. Uh, if you're looking for this to be your first Red album, if you're just now getting into Red, definitely do so. Uh, because this is one of their older albums. And, you know, when I first got into Red, I got into End of Silence. But, nevertheless, this is a good one to start off with as well. Uh, overall, I'm going to give this album a 4 out of 5 stars. And I'm gonna give it a four because there are some, there is some filler on this record, uh, which being uh, "Start Again," "Never Be the Same," uh, "Ordinary World," and "Forever." Those are the songs that I personally skip. All the rest of the tracks, though, I think are very, very good. Um, definitely pick this up if you got the chance. I recommend this record to fans of Breaking Benjamin. Fans of Disciple, fans of Thousand Foot Crutch, and fans of uh, alternative metal and hard rock in general. And especially if you're a fan of Red. And if you're a fan of Red and you don't own this, then 
I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, great record. Highly recommend you give it a listen if you haven't already. To kind of wrap this up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you think of the album if you heard it? Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. See you guys later.